Hello everyone and welcome to Back to Land and Co. This is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It is one of the four iPhone 12 models this year and it is the biggest iPhone Apple has ever made and it comes with a lot of desires. It has the largest screen ever on any Apple iPhone and the biggest camera sensor of any iPhone including the other iPhone 12. It has a 5G radio and a bigger battery. This is the most you can get and it is priced to match. It starts at 1099 with 128 gigs of storage and it goes up to 1399 for 512 gigs of storage with no carrier discounts like the regular iPhone 12. This is a lot of phone, maybe too much phone. Let's start with the size. I have always admired big phones and buy biggest ones. I spend so much time using my phone that I appreciate a bigger battery in a larger display and I have big hands. So trust me when I say the iPhone 12 Pro Max is really big. It's right on the edge of being too big. The measuring don't tell the whole story, but the number is just a little bit bigger than the 11 Pro Max. But the new design with the flat side make it much more bigger than it is and it make it slightly harder to hold than a phone with cuff sides and it's heavier than iPhone 11 Pro Max. I feel like I have to keep it in the case just to make it easier for me to hold and the case makes it even bigger. So in other words, what I'm saying is it is big. Even though you are a big phone person, I don't think it's way too big. It's still workable but it is right on the edge and to be clear, I think I will make it a great size and choice for big screen lover like myself. This year, Apple has more phone size available than ever before, including the new iPhone 12 mini. I think it will be brilliant for you to see iPhone 12 Pro and the Pro Max in person before making any decision. iPhone 12 Pro Max size allow for the biggest feature differences from the rest of the iPhone 12 line. The camera system and the basic are the same as the iPhone 12 Pro with wide three lenses and ultra wide with a lighter sensor that enable portrait photo in the night mode. The ultra light sensor is the same as the 12 and 12 Pro Max with an exception that it is a noticeable improvement over the ultra light on the 11 Pro Max but it is still basically medium quality photo compared to the main camera. It is the telephoto that are very different on the 12 Pro Max. The wide has the same f1.6 lens and as the 12 and 12 Pro but it also has a much larger physical sensor that can capture more light with less noise. The wide balance camera also stabilized differently than the other iPhone 12 which stabilized the lens. The iPhone 12 Pro Max uses something called sensor shift stabilization which means a sensor itself around and reduce vibration and those blur. You might not notice a huge differences in most cases but sensor shift works a little bit better for things like taking photos out of a moving car. The iPhone 12 Pro Max sensor also has an impressive maximum ISO which is a measure of light sensitivity. The 12 Pro Max has the top ISO of 7616. What all of this means is that the wide camera on the iPhone 12 Pro Max is one of the most confident Apple smartphone camera has ever used. You can take great photos and in a huge variety of situations but whether you all get any value out of it, it all depends on the dark places, light, in sunlight and other bright situations. Photos from 12 Pro Max and 12 Pro looks identical to me and honestly speaking, looking at photos from all the major flagship are starting to look the same and yes, there is differences. The iPhone 12 Pro Max still push shadows most aggressively but when any of the camera gets enough light, they produce photos that are more alike than different. It is when the light start to get dimmer, the iPhone 12 Pro Max really start to stand out. For instance, this photo were taken in the same sunset. In my own opinion, the phones did a great job but the Pro Max has a far less noise better and accurate with more details in color. Under a slightly darker condition, most iPhone would automatically shift into a night mode where they take multiple long exposure and map them together. But the 12 Pro Max has bigger sensor with its higher maximum ISO which means it will not automatically go into night mode. You can see that details are much more crispier, there is less blur in the photo which is overall more true to life. And when the iPhone 12 Pro Max does goes into night mode, it does it for shorter exposure 
than the 12 Pro, the LiDAR sensor. The LiDAR sensor means you can shoot portrait in night mode using the wide camera, which combined with the better low light performances, meaning that night mode portraits are better and more details on iPhone 12 Pro Max than the other iPhone 12s. The telephoto. The telephoto is less straightforward to talk about. It is effectively the same sensor as the 12 Pro, but with the longer 2.5x zoom and the less bright at f2.2 lens instead of the 2x f2.20 lens on the regular iPhone 12 Pro. I really like having the tighter zoom and I wanted to use it more, but it performs slightly worse in a low light than the 12 Pro. Apple Smart HDR3 is really good this year with excellent noise reduction in vibrant color that are still accurate. I am really intrigued by Apple new Pro RAW formats that offer the editing flexibility of raw images with the processing Smart HDR, which is not out yet, so we will all have to wait. The benefit of the bigger sensor The benefit of the bigger sensor are less noticeable in video and truthfully, they are only noticeable if you are watching a larger screen like a TV. At night, you might see little more details and less noise and shadows compared to the 12 Pro. I think the 12 Pro Max is ahead of the Wolfpack in terms of video and the 12 Pro Max may be a little bit better, but the improvement is not nearly as dramatic as it is in still photos. Two things haven't changed, deep dive and Dolby Vision. All that promises are still there with compatibility challenges and there is still a lot of lens flares going on. All the combination of larger sensors, faster lens, improved stabilization of LiDAR and processing power means is that the iPhone 12 Pro Max has the best smartphone camera I have ever used. It produced terrific colorful photos with excellent details in lightning situation where other phones start to struggle. I am impressed and blown away with the performance. Apple and everyone has made a big deal about the 5G networking, but according to an article published by Sasha Segan from PCMind, shows that the 5G in United States is slower than anywhere else in the world. If this was a race to 5G networking, we have already lost. Let me emphasize on this more. 5G in United States is more hype than reality and you should not buy any phone, iPhone 12 or the iPhone 12 Pro Max because of the 5G network capability. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Rrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr